hello everyone welcome back to the channel it's the scene tarot so scorpios we're going to get into your no contact read scorpio if this does resonate with you go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the right t just lost my voice in a in a little bit of uh, just a tiny second <clears throat> But if this resonates, go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the YT. Make sure all your videos hit 500 likes. Now, um, if you guys are looking for a personal, all the information is down below in the description box for that as well. But just know that I do not confirm anything until payment has been received, okay? Um, it's first come, first serve. So if you have not sent your payment and I gave you a date, just know that that date is no longer available, okay? Um, and yeah, let's just get started. Um, also, the membership is activated, you guys. So if you want to check that out. Um, it's actually on the main page or it should be next to this video YouTube be changing things around so I don't really know where it's at but I know it's on the main page um, if you go on there it says join and you can join for memberships as well and the membership is $14.99 a month but that's for those who are on a budget and you feel like you wanted a reading for me but you just like it was just never the right time when you come to prices so sorry about the unit for those of you because my unit is loud when it does turn on and it's cold outside and there's no way i am gonna have this um off okay um so just you know bear with me with that but i do plan to go live four times out of the month so whatever we feel like doing that day um and you are on that live and you're a member you could get your readings done you could get of course i'm not going to stay with you for 30 minutes when there's other people um on the live right it's 14.99 you can get a reading um like a like a five minute reading done and um or some questions that you may have if you want a question done as well you can do that so that's for 14.99 all right um but yeah this is what we're going to do today we're going to do your and your no contact read because i did your energy full so let's just get entwined with that i feel like i need to get another deck because i've been using this so let me get up and get a little bit ouch All right, all right, all right. We're here. We're on the floor again. I'm gonna use this deck right here. So let's get into it. If I could get it out of the box, I swear this box is just too small. It has a book and it has the deck, and I'm just like, yeah, this is way too tight. <laughs> way too tight. They pushed in a lot of things up in this one. All right, so. Let's just see what we have for you. Scorpios, no contact for me. The person that Scorpio is thinking about, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. The person that's on Scorpio's mind. The person that this person is thinking about as well. What is this person thinking about when it comes to Scorpio? What is the energy towards Scorpio? What this person wants to say to Scorpio? Ouch. Sorry. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Angels. Thank you, Holy Guides. What's this no contact energy? What is this no contact energy? <clears throat> you know scorpio you're just telling me like you know what the scene this person broke my heart that's it and i'm at a place where this person did not come around this person didn't try to change things this person didn't try to make things better and i'm at a place of trying to move on with my life this is what i'm getting this is not a hole y'all this is just how the shirt is okay the shirt has a lot of holes in it i can't really show you but that's how it is so i'm not here with bullets <laughs> All right, so, and 
I'm just getting like you're at a place where you have lost something with this person you have lost a lot you have lost whatever you guys have been building up or trying to build up with this connection right here and then I'm just getting like you're releasing this force of energy okay you're releasing you're choosing to forgive you're choosing to let go you're saying this is past tense energy past tense energy that is coming back up it's like you're in a better place to kind of like talk to this person now you're in a better place to kind of like hear this person out you because it's not bothering you well like whatever they did before it's not that deep for you anymore it's just not okay so talk about divine timing huh when you need time to heal time to let go and i feel like a lot of you are in this process <clears throat> But you don't trust them, of course. You don't trust them. And I'm also seeing like there's going to be communication. So yeah, this person is coming back to talk to you. There's a, a huge force of information and overthinking. And they can't keep this in. This is the King of Swords. They're going to need to tell you some kind of... Tell you the truth. You know, tell you the truth with this situation here. Tell me more. Because they're very unhappy within the sun. And they made you feel very unhappy as with as well within the sun energy so a lot of you are dealing with a gemini aquarius or a libra energy scorpio or i'm getting a leo okay tell me more holy spirit holy father holy angels holy gods for scorpio it's like you're moving very slowly with this energy if you decide to have this person back into your life as anything as a friend as anything to build up any force of relationship yeah you haven't made a decision about that yet because you're waiting on something wow divine timing the temperance the two of swords you're waiting on the perfect time to make this decision. It's like you don't want to cut bridges with this person either. This wasn't your choice to kind of left, leave this relationship. I feel like this person left you, okay? I feel like this person walked away from you. And you kind of like dealt with it. Because now you're in a position where you're trying to make some kind of peaceful or come up with some kind of peaceful resolution here. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Wow, you have the Wheel of Fortune here. So this is definitely faded. This person looks at you as the Empress. Wow. So you have to be careful with your energy because you're coming off as, um, to other people as in this energy that definitely, you know, has their shit together i'm just gonna say it like that all right because this person is looking at you as the you know the answer to everything the answer to their prayers okay and i'm also seeing like this this energy that you have with this person the real the reason why you guys can't really let go and want to actually come back in each other's life because if you didn't this wouldn't come up but I'm just saying like this person is fated to you and you're fated to them kind of like this energy here. There's a contract. There's also something that you need to learn from this person. But this person doesn't know how to transfer this energy to you to have you to learn because they're coming from some kind of toxic background because they're making you feel stripped, making you feel like you have no value within yourself, making you feel very sad and making you feel like you want to move on with your life. I'm also seeing like there's no confidence within this person. Like this person is staying away because they feel like, you know, they stayed away this long, by the way, um, because they had no faith within themselves and no confidence within themselves. But I feel like even with this conversation coming up, they're going to come to you with the same force of energy, no confidence within themselves. It's like they're taking that risk. They're not coming in with passion. They're coming with a drive of out of nowhere you know out of nowhere kind of vibe all right so this person um this wow that's loud because now i can hear my voice <laughs> um this person is coming off as 
Ooh, someone that is going to think about things later. They're not planning things, you know? Yeah, they're not a planner. They're very immature here. They're coming off very immature and very, like, tainted energy, you know? I feel like this person tried to keep certain things away from you because they couldn't give you the time or they just wasn't there, you know? And you were wondering to yourself, where, like, where were you? You're like, what's going on here? And this person lost control because they were being, you know, very hidden, okay? And then very immature as well with the situation. And when this popped off, this person wasn't there. You know, it's kind of like you had no choice but to let go of this energy. You didn't, you know, I just feel like this person did the most here. This person had you just stand there, you know, looking crazy. This could be a third party situation with this three of swords because you're bringing up the three of swords for this no contact read, okay? You're saying like this person and you just had this this three of swords energy and that's in the past and you know you moved on you healed you had a lot of self-reflection that you had to deal with yeah this person was juggling you look at that and still is why am i seeing family or friends three of like somebody a lot of you this person could have juggled you with someone that you were friends with or a family member oh because I'm just seeing like this person is like trying to keep the peace between you two or trying to both make both of you very happy or very satisfied. And I'm just seeing that they are weren't in a position to choose or to make some form of decision. Yeah, this was a lot of trials and tribulations. I feel like this is not the first time. There was just feelings like uneasy feelings when you came into the room, okay? Like you just know like something ain't right here. Something ain't right here. Someone is having some kind of a fear behind my back. Like you felt like that that was it. Your intuition is also heightened here. It's kind of like your angel's kind of like trying to keep you away from getting broken or having this broken heart here. This person hasn't changed. I'm just going to tell you that now in Scorpio, a lot of you are stuck. This is what I'm seeing here. There's going to be a breakthrough with that. Wow, Scorpio, look, you're still waiting for this person. That's why this person is coming up. It's like there's going to be a breakthrough. You're waiting for this person to kind of rush in and, and, and you know, say that they're here and they want to work things out with you and to choose you. You're just waiting for this happy ever after. Look at this. Why is this two of cups flipping in my hand? A lot of you are, you're saying that this is your soulmate. You're having issues. Like, you want to be back with this person. I should have knew from the nine of uh, wands here because you both don't want to let go of each other. I'm seeing like a both energy. Okay. Yeah, there's a contract. Okay. Contract being confirmed. Ooh. Okay. Let me just use another deck after this. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. For Scorpio, no contact. No contact. Read. Wow. A lot of you had some kind of breakdown. Because I'm seeing someone taking a break or someone traveled somewhere or left somewhere like someone is not in town right now. Ooh, okay, so you have the justice on your end. Wow, see? Yeah, they feel like you're untouchable, like you're just so far away. I'm also seeing like they're going to come towards you and tell you the truth. They're choosing you. You're their empress. You're their way out. You're their, you know, saving grace. <laughs> Saving grace. <laughs> Saving grace. Okay, but I'm seeing the seven of uh, cups here. This could also be just family or this could be, you know, people that don't want you to be together or this could be multiple partners, okay? And a lot of you, this person doesn't know how to choose or doesn't know how to stop something. It's like, they're like, I got this, I got this. And you're talking about that, look, you, you feel like something is going on here. They're acting like you're going crazy. Um, and I'm seeing some kind of, you know, celebration with three people here. So, ooh. All right. Um, let me just see what the 
energy is with the spirits. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Father, Holy Angels. What's going on here? For Scorpio, no contact read. Can you tell us some insights on this energy? For this person that wants to come back in for Scorpio. Ooh, look at that. The four. The four. Oh, wow. The foundation and the achievements. Talk about the Empress, huh? You are their saving grace. They're not going to have anything without you. That's how they feel. They feel like you're the best thing that ever happened in their lives. I'm just getting this energy of this person just been with ghetto ass people. <laughs> sorry like you are the only one that they've been with that was classy and different and you don't beat them up you don't beat them up you don't lay hands on them they're used to people that beat them up oh my gosh used to toxic relationships and i'm talking about really toxic jail and everything all right but this is the life that they're used to it's like a drug it's like an addiction that i'm getting look at that you need to rest and consider reconsider okay if you want to because i feel like a lot of you are making decisions based on fear because this wouldn't come up if you didn't want to be with this person i mean I would definitely see that you're making a decision to like leave this person, but I'm getting an energy like you want to work something out. They still want to work something out. You're looking at this person as your two of cups, you know, mutual feelings here, baby. Mutual felons. Can't lie to me with that two of cups. Can't lie. This person did wrong, but at the same time, there's so many things that's going on here. Number 13, you know, transformation. Some kind of ending is about to happen on the 13th or um, there's a transformation happening. You know, there's like, finally you're going into the next stages of something important, okay? A lot of you are dealing with a Scorpio like yourself or some kind of water-based energy. I'm also see teach. So you're learning a lot too with the number five because this is about hardships you know this is about deceit lies betrayals um this is about you know competition having a lot of people around you um what else Oof. you know uh this is so much craziness i feel like there's going to be balance it has to be balanced back into the situation you feel disappointed you know and that's what you're learning right now yeah look at this the three the three of swords again the three um heartache and loss the heartache and loss you guys it's like you're learning this Oof, and you're going through it and it took a lot of you a lot of time to actually get to a place where you can accept this, accept what this person has done. It's not like you're accepting it and like they can do it again, but it's like it took a while for you to get this over your head and to like get out of this denial too, because I feel like you could not believe this, that this was you. But you're going to be receiving some kind of chakra information. This also came up in your last reading in power energy. So you're in your power and you're trying to like build your life up again. And I'm just seeing that you're going to be making some better decisions when it comes to love, when it comes to um, being focused on certain things. Uh, because I just feel like within this energy, you kind of lost yourself for a moment. And I'm seeing this power coming back. So you're claiming back everything. You're getting your yourself back in order. And that's just why this person is so like into you. Because um, I'm just getting this vibe that you're coming off as the Empress, right? 
but they never had that before. And this is another three card too, the Empress. And it's like, I'm getting vibes that they had to choose between you and they chose you, even though they're afraid because they feel like you deserve so much better than what they got going on. But they're so frustrated with their lives. And another thing that I, I feel like this person can't take when people talk down to them, and it's like they know their shit, but they don't they don't need to hear it. They know their crap, they don't need to hear it. Like so that triggers them. And that's gonna cause an argument between you and this person. Okay, because they feel like, yeah, you're moving in caution. That means that you healed a lot, but you still have questions. And that's going to cause a little bit of a uh, uh, conflict. But I'm seeing a new beginning for you. Woo, prosperity. Oh my gosh. Wow, you are like harvesting a lot of blessings. A lot of things are coming to you, a lot of gifts. Um, and you're going to be overwhelmed with it. And I feel like it's time for you to give to others who might need it, okay? So the divine is behind you. Tell me more. Look at that. Wow. This came up before, didn't it? And here it is showing itself again. Achievements and foundation. So you're going to have a strong foundation, a strong family. You are on the path of happiness. You know, I feel like this is why they are so attached to you because you already have so much going on for you, right? And you just want someone to share it with. And they see that. They see that. They see that. Um, tell me more, Holy Spirit. Tell me more for Scorpio. Lovely Scorpios. For this no contact read. I need to get my animal deck. I'm being called. All right. You're going to stop. You're gonna, blah, 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 blah. You have the throat chakra so you're going to need to speak up because the holy spirit is giving you so much information right so much power so much information right and you're going to need to explore that you're going to know, need to know that your angel angel gabrielle is actually behind you and wanting you to speak up and stand up for yourself and to have that self-respect and that self-value back you know that power back um, you need to let this person know what you're going to be dealing with and what you're not going to be dealing with, okay? Because you do have a contract with this person, but communication is the key here. You can't just assume that this person understands or no because this person is coming from a toxic background, okay? So what is healthy for you is not healthy for them. I feel like you're here to teach that person. Let me go get my animal deck because I'm, I'm being called okay? y'all <laughs> i should have paused the video didn't realize i didn't pause it but i had to get my deck upstairs okay so let's just see what the holy spirit want you to know this animal energy thank you holy spirit what's the energy help a swapio Ooh, you have the firefly. So you're being led. You're being led to healing. You're being led to the beginning. I feel like a lot of you feel lonely, but you're not. I'm also seeing the crane energy here. Where it's just time to manifest. It's time to dance. It's time to be free. It's time to let go. It's time to fly. You know, Scorpio, I had this energy in your first reading. It's the energy poll, and it's the same thing. Like, they were saying that it's time for you to use your wings or something like that. But I just felt like you already had wings. Someone feels very, like, trapped here, and you need to have courage. You need to have courage and know that everything is going to be okay because you're being affected mentally kind of like 
you don't know which way to turn. Tell me one more. Scorpio. Ooh, look at that. A lot of you have Aquarius energy. I'm seeing this starfish. And a lot of your wishes are about to come true. Tell me more. For Scorpio. Wow, look at that. Oh my gosh. Talk about beautiful. Talk about jealousy and why they're jealous, you know, because you have this energy about you that you're so graceful and so beautiful and they cannot believe that, oh, you have some kind of problems or you're going through hardship because you are appearing to be this beautiful um, bird, <laughs> okay? You're appearing to be the swan here um, and you seem like on the outside like nothing is wrong with you because another thing that I picked up is like the empress energy, like even this person is making it seem like you are their saving grace you know but it's like but with that energy is very difficult and very dangerous because they're coming to you for light they're coming to you for clarity they're coming to you for a positive energy and what about you when you need that you know it's going to be very difficult for you to get that back so this is why the angels are saying like you need to stand up for yourself you need to speak up for yourself you need to let these people know what you're going to accept and what you're not going to accept okay um and your angel is with you look at that the eagle you're going to be very successful and enjoy this time enjoy this time it's going to be a slow process and you might feel like nothing is going on like nothing is moving but within the turtle energy you are actually where you're supposed to be in life and where things it's like enjoy the moment enjoy this because you won't get this back tell me one more the scorpio and then we're going to close this thank you Thanks for it Talk about spirit. Spirit. Wow, you have the sea serpent. All eyes are on you. Talk about spirit. All eyes are on you. You're doing such a wonderful job. And I just feel like you need to take your time. You need to take some time not to overwork yourself or not to overthink things and not to be your own downfall. You know what I mean? This is what I'm getting here. But I'm seeing like all eyes on you at this moment. Everything is coming into this full circle vibe for you. Ooh, let's see. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that. What a powerful leader. You're coming off as this powerful leader, and we know that you are, but it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to ask for assistance, okay? Um, you're coming off as this bear energy. What a wonderful energy. This is what I have for you, Scorps. I hope that it resonates. Hope for that you enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in your next one. Make sure all your videos hit 500 likes, okay? Love you guys, and I'll see you guys in your next read.